How's it going everyone? Daniel here and welcome to my quick review for Baby Driver which is the latest film to be directed by the kick-ass Edgar Wright uh, which stars Ansel Elgort, John Hamm, Jamie Foxx, uh, Lily James, Kevin Spacey, that other girl. I mean honestly an all-star cast here. Uh, a really interesting mix of people and then you have an awesome director and an original concept. Uh, no spoilers in here whatsoever. I'm just going to tell you my, my, my thoughts on it, my impressions, the stuff I like, the stuff that I don't like, and whether you should go see Baby Driver in theater, which the short answer is yes. If you haven't seen Baby Driver yet in theaters and it's still in theaters, go watch it. I don't care if it's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 70 dollars. I don't care. Go take your family, maybe not your kids, I don't know, if you're a cool parent, you'll take them. Go take everybody, go take your next door neighbor, go take your teacher, go take that, your daughter's her friend that you like and you sleep with, go take her. Take everybody to Baby Driver, man. It's so awesome. Um, Edgar Wright, the way that he does his style, the way that the cast plays out and these characters and how interesting they are, especially Ansel Elgort's character and, and Lily James, the way that their chemistry mixes in between. Kevin Spacey is, is always what he does best, is being intimidating and funny and cool and badass at the same time. Every time Kevin Spacey says a line in this film, you're like, that's why we love Kevin Spacey, he's a badass man. It's just some something that Kevin Spacey has this energy of. Uh, and again, how original this film is, uh, of, it's a heist film, but it's, it's just done, like, it's done better than Fast and the Furious, than what Fast and the Furious has become, uh, you, you know what I'm saying, uh, and it doesn't, it has its car chases, it has its gun fighting scenes, it has its comedy, it has its dark drama, um, a, a lot of it is just brought alive again from these characters. Jamie Foxx, is, uh, Jamie Foxx who plays Bats, is one of the most annoying characters I've ever seen this so far this year for movies in 2017. Uh, probably by far the most annoying character. And, and, and the way that he just brings it down, um, and he honestly is, you just want to punch this guy in the face, but then again, it's Jamie Foxx, so he's going to just end up shooting you. <laughs> you punch him so it's not a, it's not a good turnout there uh, but I, I love the cinematography I love the mixture of the music a lot of the music in here I really enjoy man uh, so adding the music to and I wouldn't so call it a musical but adding the music and, and the way that the scenes sync together and the gun fighting and the driving and the turns and the twist all of it is synced so well together. Um, it's a true, it, it, it's one of the first, besides Wonder Woman, it is one of the better summer films. You know, it is a summer blockbuster film that, that sh everyone should go and enjoy. It's a popcorn film. It's a film you can laugh at, and it's a film you could, you could have emotions with and, and, you know, get scared for and really kind of, fall in line with, with Ansel Elgort's character, Baby, and, and you just want to see more. At, at the end of this film, you want to see more of these characters. You want to see more uh, of where it's going to go, hopefully next. I hope Edgar ends up making a, a sequel in the future. Um, John Hamm, who, who I love so much from Mad Men, and honestly, I'm happy that he is in this film uh, because, first off, He's, he, he looks badass. He is badass. Uh, he it gets a little scary in this film. It's something I haven't seen from him before. And it still makes me angry. I'm like, have him play Batman in a TV show. Make John Hamm Batman. He can do it. Because uh, he has the Bruce Wayne looks so down, man. Uh, he, he's really, really awesome in this film. All the, the actresses and actors do, again, an awesome job. It's not a great film. I think it's a great original concept. I like the concept. I think that's great. I think the actors do a good job. I think the action is really good and badass. I think the music is awesome. Um, so all together it mixes and mixes very well. And then again, Edgar Wright and his humor. Some humor I didn't get there. And there are, for me, honestly, I saw 
that there were plot holes in this film. There are certain things in there that are not very much described. And what about this? And what about that? And not things like, oh, you just used to your mind, which I've said before in a previous and other movie reviews. But this one, it's not one of those. It's more like they just... Either Edgar didn't write it in there, or he didn't know what to do with it, and he just left it out. Because I'm pretty sure, I've seen the film, that there are a few plot holes in there that really just kind of misled things around, honestly, with that. And uh, again, it had an emotional factor to the film, it had its funniness, and it had its brutality. Uh, and it wasn't afraid to go all out balls to the wall blood and, and all this weird shit that they end up doing in the film. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not seen Baby Driver, go check it out when you have the chance. I am going to pick it up on Blu-ray uh, in the near future. Thank you guys again. Comment down below. Share uh, share your thoughts with me. Tell me how you th what you thought about Baby Driver. Like, comment, share. Hit that subscribe button for more. Thank you guys again. Until next time. Bye-bye.